another segment of Deb in the dog tub. Except for now, I'm not in the dog tub. I'm out of the dog tub. And I always have this table set up um, right, right beside my bath, my bathtub. Poodles and everything have to pretty much go right from here and then get blown out with that big blower, which we're not going to use today. So, once again, especially with your show springers, make sure you get all this feathering and remember to always lift and layer when you're brushing. Just don't go pulling through all of it. All right. So, I've already got her completely brushed out from the bathtub up to the table. Now, towels. I actually had this made uh, because most of my springers don't fit the beach towels or the regular towels or any kind of towels. So I got a beach towel, had it cut down. And the important thing is that you don't, well, is that you don't want it, you don't want it so long that it grapples their feet and they can't walk or go potty. You want it to be comfortable, but you don't want it so short that you've got it so tight under here that they can't breathe or sleep or move around in it. Because uh, a lot of these show dogs, they have to end up living, living in these maybe before she wants to shake again, maybe for a week. Now, I want to take this towel and I want to fold it in half. You definitely want a towel that you can fold in half. You want a medium, you want a medium weight towel. Not super light, not super heavy. The super heavy is going to end up giving you ridges in the coat. But I want to fold this in such a way that it can go from the occiput, okay, about two inches off the croup. Doesn't need to cover the tail, about halfway the tail. Now that's a little bit too long. So I'm going to shore it up again here. Okay, that feels about right. Okay, so. For Kira, I'm going to take her head out of the noose, and if you're starting or have a starter dog, try to have somebody help you do this to hold their heads. Now, the other thing, some towels have a, a glossy side and then a more uh, plushy terry cloth side. Always use the, the coarser, the terry cloth side against them, not the, not the shiny side. It absorbs more of the water. Now, I'm going to take this towel, and like an accordion, I put it over her shoulders. Did you see that? Like an accordion. I have my cell phone up here for a different angle, so I'll probably put both of them on the channel so you can see a bird's eye view. So, so that's very, very, and now, if I need to start over because she shakes or I get distracted, pull it all the way off. Just don't feel like you have hazardly because then you've, you, you've, You've screwed up all the nice pretty brushing you've done. So you start it there, you go back and forth, just like an accordion. Now we're gonna do that trick, turn, turn, which she's not used to doing on a gurney table. Says you're nuts, here I'm gonna do something I don't normally do. Okay, so now, all right, so starting up here, all right, I take this, I get the ears out of the way. Now, here's my finger. I'm going to put my finger down here. Now, why is that? Because the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these blankety pins and I'm putting it in here and I don't want to get any of this skin that normally falls. So my finger's in there. So I know exactly where I'm going with this pin. And that one's fairly tight. I mean, that one's snug. I can get two fingers in, but you want it to be snug. Okay, now, the next thing you do, and you'll have to come back and see this on this camera up here, is I go under here and I find that first layer. And I'm going to grab that, and I'm going to pull that back. Pull that back. Then I'm going to take over the shoulders, down the side, off the rear. Eh. That's probably about an inch longer than I wanted it to be, but we'll just leave it be so today. Come on up here, sweetheart. Okay, now, the next towel, so that was very important. I pulled it straight back, and then I'm going to pull it here, then go through the whole dog, and pull it down. Now, my next pin, okay, is going to be, again, my magic finger is going to go up in there. 
my finger is up in there and right in front of a dog's penis or around where the belly button would be. Now I'm gonna take this pen and do it that forward direction. Why? Because if it opens and you have a male, you obviously don't want the sharp going into the penis. Right, so just, just go ahead and get used to doing that unless you're just gonna own nothing but bitches your whole life. And then it probably doesn't matter which direction you put that in. Anyway, so that's got to go through all four layers of that towel. And it's firm, it's tight, she can breathe. Okay, now I'm gonna come back to the front and I'm gonna pull all this down over her front assembly again. Now, okay, now this time I have this magic finger. I have two magic fingers. Now, this time I'm going to feel with that magic finger where I want this next one. And again, this next one is gonna go in there. And again, it went this direction. You see the pin? Maybe not. I've got the pointy part out. So if it opens up by accident, it's not going to stick into the dog, right? So um, that's it. There's your show towel. All nice and done. Like I said, we, uh, my club hosts a five day event at York Fairgrounds and I've got some dogs that I'll bathe two days before the event and they live in the same towel throughout the whole week, um, right? Especially the bitches. I have one dog, Carson, Neil's dog, can live in this bloody thing for a month and he never gets it yucky. I don't know how that dog goes potty, but he like never gets it yucky. I don't, I don't get that. So that's perfect. She can move on her back legs, right? She's got enough movement in here, but now all this nice little hair is going to lay nice and flat for the show ring. You definitely want to do this 24 hours in advance. There's, there, there's no skimming here on time for this one. She's fully soaked from the bathtub. You don't want to do this when they're damp dry. From the bathtub, towel them off to get the excess or let them have a good shake. That's even better. And I forgot to show you that at, at, at the end. When after you, after you bathe the dog, and I did forget to show you guys this, after you bathe the dog, I will stand back and deliberately let the dog take a really good shake in the bathtub. And if they don't want to, especially on my pets, if you just go like that in their ear and then stare and stand back, they'll shake. And um, what's really good, since you know you're going to do that, just take a towel and put the towel up like that, have them shake, and then the towel's gone. Good to go. But I do like them to shake after the bathtub. All right, so she's done with the toweling. And then we're going to do our next segment. Another thing that I want to do, because I see that, that uh, using vet wrap at the ringside is a real popular um, a video that I did. I'm going to do it with this wider camera. I did it on the cell phone the first time, but I'm going to take this wider camera and I'm going to redo her ears with vet wrap and that will probably be later tonight. Since I'm bathing her, I can blow her out, make her all pretty, and then we can do vet wrap again, but with the wider camera. Okay, so there we go. Thank, thank you guys for joining me. I'm going to say bye. <laughs> okay. And also to my audience out there in YouTube world, uh, thank you for joining me for this segment of Deb's Tricks of the Trades and Debbie in the Dog Tub. And I will see you later when I do the vet wrap on their ears for the show ring. So say goodbye, Kira. And I'm going to say goodbye. And really, definitely. The coffee has definitely, definitely worn off. And the wine hasn't kicked in yet because I haven't even had time to go get a glass of wine. So I'll see you later. Bye-bye.